John, your whiskey neighbor here, or maybe whiskey throttle now. I think I got tired of trying to build up a collection and I found a collection that maybe I could just take. Hey, uh, hey quit uh, that. What? Uh, no, get, get back over there. Get. <laughs> what are you doing here? Uh, right, no, 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 I've got this now. No. I... <laughs> uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Anybody in here yet? <laughs> So will they hit that or did no one come? I don't know, but that bag smelled funny. <laughs> okay, just to be clear, it was your just, bag. I didn't bring that. <laughs> I know, but it came all the way from Glasgow. Oh, the awesome. Good Spirit Company. Nice. I threw that nice. bag in when I bought nice looking several bag. models from them. And a beautiful looking collection. Uh, you know, we just, we're trying the stream yard. Uh, as you can tell, I'm here with Throttle. And clearly this is not my cave or my collection. Uh Instead, um, uh, he is kind enough to say, when you come on over and uh, we'll uh, talk a little bit and get a chance to visit. And I, I really appreciate it. So thanks for, for having me over. And that was a fun intro. I don't know if anyone's here. I can't tell what's going on. In fact, right now, I can't even see see the camera. But hopefully a few people are here and, and are seeing some of the things that we're doing. Well, if they're not, you can broadcast it later. Yeah. Or sign it up here. Search for some guy named Whiskey Neighbor. Right, okay. right now, and we'll yeah. see if he's live. That's all. You're a science teacher, right? I am. <laughs> yeah, it says live now. Check okay. that out. We'll just make sure, and then we can watch what we're see doing. The camera. But oh, it's kind of feedback into us. Play a few people. There we are. No. Uh, two people are watching. Right on. Yeah, they haven't said anything Probably yet. Probably you and me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, well, it's it a you, long trip for you. You live on the other side of the freaking river. <laughs> if if anybody just joined us now, though, you got to go back to the beginning. That was pretty. That was that was a pretty good. Was, all right. Yeah, it was fun. Sure, you're not a drama teacher. <laughs> no, no, I wish they have way too much fun. Science teacher. This isn't as fun as uh, your patio. Sit out there. Being outside. Uh, I don't it know. Been, it just started raining. You know. You know why I could argue that is is uh, oh, you have a healthy collection and and. Uh, and being here is kind of fun. Fun so, fun for a guy like me anyways, and I know it's fun for you what? just to go, holy shit. Uh, <laughs> Malted in Montreal. Hey. Who's that guy? I never heard of him. No, no. Is he? <laughs> I never, swami. Uh, swami. It's probably half ah. of a bag somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure. Anyways, glad you joined us. Uh, obviously, this is not my uh, my stash or my place. Throttle uh, graciously said, come on over. So I uh, thought it would be fun to do a live. But you brought me a whiskey I never tried. I did, which um, I appreciate that I did bring one that you haven't tried because I think yeah. that's probably tough to do, right? Uh, no, you get around, so you know a lot of people, and, and yeah. you, you've got a couple yeah. of bottles around you. I've never even seen one that I could have bought, I don't think. Oh, really? No. Should, should we talk about that one? Should we let yeah, people see what we're doing? Tell me about it. I mean, right now, this Swami, can you right? this is, I'll just show the camera so people see what it is here. So uh, Central, or you can, Central City. Uh, is I think they're in Surrey, just south of Vancouver, and um, they started in beer, right? They make a, a decent beer. I've had it. It's a, I was going to say a red something, Red River, Red. Uh, someone will tell me what it is. It's a decent beer. And then they started saying, well, our passion would also take us into, into whiskey, right? So they've been putting out single malts. Um, their first one was okay. Their peated one gets some pretty good love. And then um, Food Quake, actually, I saw him open this up. Yeah. It looked a little bit like a whiskey orgasm was going on. And I thought, well, I didn't want a part of that, but I wanted a part of that bottle. Do you want, so, a, do you want a sip? Uh, well, or or sure. are you going to try one of the other ones? Well, I probably want to try something that I didn't bring. Okay. <laughs> but telling you about this bottle is um, is I, I think these guys are, are trying to do, like like a lot of craft, you know, they don't have the age on it that they need to have. I will, I will, I don't want to turn you one way or another, but it is a little young. But uh, what is this? What makes this unique is that 15% of the the malt that they used in this is actually a chocolate malt, right? Right. So they've roasted it longer. They've got into that darker. And as you, as you know, it doesn't uh, produce as much alcohol, which is one of the reasons why chocolate malt isn't a super duper popular. Yeah. Right. Right. Because obviously these guys, uh, alcohol is kind of the core of their business. So anything that produces less alcohol is not very desirable. It still must come out above 50. Yeah, I think so. making yeah, I don't really know. It's really got a nice nose to it. Well, yeah, it's got a unique, I think, nose to it. And uh, and it's finished in, um, I'm not a wine guy, but in a French wine, a French white wine. 
um, which is pr some of the sweetness you're going to get. Soft turns. Yeah, yeah that's, it is. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. glad you brought it. This is does look like a, a Balvini bottle, except it's got uh, Century City written across the front of it there. Or Central City. Central pardon. City. Yeah, Central yeah. City okay. yeah, Brewers. Now, one of the things that I think might make their spirit better than some is they already have the idea of making beer. Yeah. So the other example, and I'll bring you the bottle to try, okay, is two brewers. So you go ahead, keep your channel. Right? Yeah, and I'll say, uh, Swami, the um, this stream yard again, it, it was uh, maybe two clicks, uh, and then just intuitively going, okay, here's the mic set up, here's the camera set up, and thankfully we're seeing the chat. If you came in right live, you would have seen us uh, fumbling around because at first we didn't know if anyone was here. Or or whatnot, but it does look like the chat comes up easily and there's some layouts. We could share cameras or whatnot. Good evening, Graham. Good to see you. <laughs> awesome. Glad you've joined us. Well, as you can see, uh, it's a hostile takeover. When neighbors go bad, right? I I, uh, I, needed, a <laughs> I needed a better uh, man cave. Who's that? Oh, <laughs> Graham Young. Yeah. How you doing, Graham? <laughs> and the other guys, since we're talking about a brewery that makes whiskey, yeah, if you just joined us, we're talking about um, Lone McKinnon from Central City. They're in BC. It's a, a single malt, but they started in beer first. Look at that, my bourbon journey. Hey, good to see you, Scott. Welcome. Talking about neighbors going bad. <laughs> <laughs> Scott. Wait a second. You didn't just make a political crack, no, did you? Did. We did not do a U.S. Canada no, thing. No. no, we did not do that. <laughs> I'm an American, and so was John. We live in America. This is the United Provinces of America. That's true. Yeah. Not my fault. <laughs> Someone's like, don't know what the word of means. <laughs> of America. But welcome. Anyway. Cheers. Glad you're here. John, <laughs> I bug John because his wife is Canadian. Oh, okay. Right? So nice. the other guys that do this, and you don't know much about them, you were saying? I don't know enough about True Brewers. Absolutely. So they're beer makers. Yeah. Again. I do, I do know that one. Yeah. yeah. And, and they make really good beer. So I think that helps them make a good spirit yeah and you are more than welcome to try any one of these yeah so they have four different and they go between they go? yeah classic innovative how's it go special, special and... finish classic innovative yeah and uh peated peated okay yep yeah Maybe i don't have one of their peated there but i have the only one i don't have is number one their first release <laughs> so this I... is really they're up to release 15 or 16 now right? oh, okay yeah does it work with Mac? Yes, I am. This is a Mac. I mean, this is Whiskey <laughs> Neighbor's computer. He he came here and took no, over. Uh, yeah, right. It, no, <laughs> he did. He had a bag over my head and everything. And everything. Yeah, yeah. As soon as the door cracked open, I came in hard. Bang! I knew this head. was my chance. Hit me in the head with a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm tough and resilient. I'm trying to be neighborly and not have the cops come. So. Anyway, so. We're talking a little bit about True Brewers releases, I think, right? Or what are you going here? Six one is no six point one is uh, no. Graham said it's great. It's 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 the um, oh, you're into dark arts. I missed that comment. Okay, nice. Yeah, those are sweet bottles. I've seen a few here. There's nothing in my house, but uh, well, mine are. I don't know that six point one. I, no? I have I have I have some different numbers. Okay. No questions. <laughs> no questions. Don't ask questions. Uh, there's a bottle down the road for me. Uh, 4.1 is Yeah. Name. What's that? 4.1. Yeah. Well, if it's, what is it? 300 bucks or less, buy it. Really? Yeah. It's, well, hey, now I'm talking big and I'll go there and it's gone and I'll look like an idiot. But uh, it's been on the shelf there for an exceedingly long time. So it's, I think, 239 somewhere in there. Oh, Graham yeah. is uh, into a 12 year old Kilholman. I only have one bottle of Kilholman. Nice. But we're, we're, we're talking, we're talking two brewers going through kind of the, the different uh, releases. Uh, but we did, I did bring this Lola McKinnon chocolate malt. And you've had a nose, but have you tried a sip? Because I think it really changes in the palate, in my opinion. I uh, That's when I think the malt comes through even wow. more than the, the finish of the cask. Yeah. No, nope, that is uh, very unique. Yeah. It's similar to something else I've tried. And I think it might be the sauterns, but it's got a sweet candy. I've, I found the... Yeah, okay, I better pour a little bit just because I can't talk about something. <laughs> well, plenty of glasses here, buddy. Thanks. There's a whole bunch behind us. Just a splash, just so I could... 
That's well, a pretty healthy splash. Well, man. you know, we're... <laughs> you don't have to finish anything you don't want. I have a, I have a take home ah. Swiss barrel. Ah. I've got a kill home and just that I show every once in a while just to make them mad, but it's their the very, very first sherry. Oh kill home I never put it. Right. Yeah, Swami loves Kill Homan. Yeah, Swami's he's been bought by Bill Kill Kill Homan, well, I'm sure. Okay. You bought him. They bought you they, Kill Homan. They did, man. yeah. <laughs> it's not a buy, you know, you're yeah. not you're not uh so so my my just now that I've tasted again, I that's where I find the nose. Is interesting, but really speaks of the cast. But the the palate for me really speaks of the malt. I don't know how you're feeling, but that's like nope. that's where I'm in the middle of those cocoa or whatever. Like the, some of that stuff, yep. right? Some of that, yeah. The stuff that I know is coming out of the malt, not out of the cask as much. So, but there's also there's something in here. I've had a couple. Have you had any other Lowen McKinnon nope. before? Never. Nope. Uh, a couple years ago for Canada 150, they put out a um, lightly peated and rye. So it's lightly peated barley and rye. Um, and there's a little, there's some kind of dusty uh, bite or something in here that's a little young, but it's it's almost characteristic because I got it in their other stuff too. Okay. Yeah, that I, I kind of get in this too. So yeah, I don't they know may, if that's. I mean, depending on where they're making it, they may have lots of reasons where they get a certain character that. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, it's the same as this. Most of these are, I think, at the most seven years old. Yeah. I just right. feel pretty good that I found anything they hadn't tried. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm very happy you brought that. Um, right on. Here. Don't read anymore. Uh, okay. And I'm going to give it one of my more. I prefer this style glass, to tell you the truth. Okay. okay. It's. I brought this back from the Isle of Mull. Okay. It's a Tobomori glass. I like it with a stem. I like the stem. Just normal. I, I think we over-process everything. This is their top, uh, uh, two brewers, 11th edition. Okay. And I'm not. I'm not reading it. I'm just gonna smell just, nose yeah, taste. Yeah, well, I mean, you got enough. It's it's there. It's a. It's a, uh, I think that's a special finish. Okay, but it's not really the finish. Well, pardon me. It's not a special finish. It is an innovative. But try it first. Smell it first. Okay. Do yeah. your thing. Do your do your own little. Do thing. do what I do. <laughs> do what you do. We all do it. Do yeah. it a little differently. Get all scientific with it. <laughs> do your thing. You like that haircut? It. She did exactly what I told her not to do. Don't even get me going. But I don't worry about a swami because guess what? For some of us, our hair grows back. Right. So for for me, the nose is. Uh, that might have been a genuine compliment from Swami. I, yeah. I've never heard one <laughs> might before. <have> so <laughs> sorry, Swami. I hope. I, thank you, buddy. I come nothing about my. Okay, I didn't do anything with my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Same hair. Julia was by though. She took care of my ears. She groomed my ears. They're nice. You're things. looking good. <laughs> I'm going away to a job. I gotta wear. Things. So I didn't actually read it. I have no idea what I'm what I'm supposed to be getting on this. But for me, it's sweet. It's uh, sweet like like a apricot stone fruit type sweetness on the nose, or or a white, almost the same kind of white nose, white grape, or I'm and the, none it. of that's true. None of it's true. But nope. that this is my. Springbank glass, Springbank long grow Hazelburn Kilcairn, Campbelltown malts, little tiny thumbnail of a glass. Cool. And I'm going to put some of the same two brewers in there. Okay. So that you can see what it's like. Or I can remember what it's like. Yeah. You know, there is something similar of why I okay. chose that. Right. Well, for me, the the sweetness it's of the so nose sweet, is what right? I was yeah. talking about, right? When I said yeah. stone fruit peach. Yep. So I don't know what I don't know what casting it is or what it's supposed to be like. Tasted but... it yet? No. no. Cheers. Cheers, mate. I love the nose on this. This is one of the ones I could smell all day long. What an interesting ride through some like at first I thought oh this is gentle sweet but then there was quite an interesting um I don't know what kind of spice that is that I'm getting through that but what do you think the ABV is Oh I didn't take a big swig so it could be heavier than I think but I would say mid 40s What was it It is 43 okay Yes the two brewers is from BC it's actually from the Yukon. I thought they were Yukon. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. They're the Yukon. Can I look at the bottle? 
Yes, you can. All right. And now you can read what's on there. I want to read it. Because it's a unique, again, chocolate. Yeah. This is probably somewhere between five and seven years old, Graham. And it's their 11th release, and it's under their innovative stylings. Yeah, I definitely was getting the fruit you're talking about. But what green is it made with? Oh, like... You want to read the front of that? You need yeah. a flashlight, you know, Yeah, I don't want my eyes. Because I was looking at this, two brewers uses character building... Uh, want me to read that to you? Two brewers uses character building Munich malts to create a dram with concentrated... Malt. malt depth and rich flavor yeah. from entry to finish. Mm -hmm. Munich malts is not used for right. It is a beer malt. Usually used right. for beer. Yeah. So they took that. So again, and there's a little a bit of the maker. echo um in this Lone McKinnon. Yeah. Huh. Right. So chocolate malt, meaning that they now I mean they call it a chocolate malt, but what what malt did they use? What barley did they use? Yeah, I don't I didn't dig into it. So you I don't know. Is there more than one type of chocolate malt out there? Yeah, I don't know. I'd have to dig into it. The, you know, I mean, you can make a chocolate malt out of more than one type of barley, right? right. Could they use? Could they use the bear barley that Brooklady uses? Right. Yeah. No, it does. It does not right. say. It just says crafted no. with highly kilned chocolate malted barley. It doesn't right. say where or how they got it. So we can get. We, I mean, we can blow each other's minds with with. <laughs> oh, what malt did you use? It's like it's like how many different ways is there to say oak? Yeah. So, Glen Glen Rothis has several different releases that have names on them that are all actually words that are Latin or this and that. For right. Oak. Beautiful. Right. Well, and one day I'll know all that stuff. Well, I've only started <laughs> to delve into it, but it's you know one of those ones when you're sitting around with people that are total nerds. All right. So, are, what are you guys sipping in? Did you get into the dark art? Is that what happened? I didn't know because we're we only got a couple of guys here, and that's cool. That's all right. We don't need a bunch. It's just us. <laughs> people, well, six. There's six people watching. There's only two in the comments. Ah, uh, okay. That okay. happens. Some yeah. of them are. Some people are shy. Well, welcome to yeah. chime in. Let us know you're in here. Say whatever you need to say, you little weasels. <laughs> oh wait a minute, it's not my channel. I that's, can't that's, call you guys name. I only call people names on my channel. That's right. Don't abuse my guys. <laughs> yeah, a bunch of donkeys. <laughs> You know what Aquavita called me? No. He says, like, you're like the Canadian version of John Wayne. Oh. <laughs> I like John Wayne. <laughs> but my favorite John Wayne movie isn't a uh, Western. Oh, no? No. I liked lots of those, but my favorite one is actually where he plays an Irish boxer. Okay. And he goes back to Ireland after killing a man in the ring. Oh, it's all about getting know. married. Oh, okay. And it's called, so I'm going to forget the name because I mentioned it, of course. <laughs> yeah, getting old. Of course. Um, yeah. It actually, little, little, uh, well, somebody remember that name. I, I had the signet and I wasn't impressed, which it's chocolate milk. Well, you're never impressed by Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> it's Glenn Morrissey. I know, but you did Man. make that comparison, and it is something that I haven't had signet. And, and I actually like this chocolate malt, so I did want it to try signet to see, like, like, is that so much more chocolate, or how does this compare? Because this is only 15%. Is signet all chocolate malt? I think it is. I believe it is, yeah. Yeah. That's a metal, that must be your guy. Hello? Metal Mafi Mofos. No, so I mean, great. Welcome to the channel. I don't know if we've talked lots. Mafia. Good to say hi. Mafia, Mo Mafia Mofos. Metal Mafia Mofos. <laughs> Called you out. I love those names, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby Huey would crush you. Okay, you know what you're the Canadian version of the meh emoji. Meh, meh, meh. Trying yeah. to get higher here. You're you're taller than me. Well, I'm on a different stool. There we go. There, there. That's better. These no, are from I like a my newspaper growing. company. I bought them when I was on a job. I'm like, I am not sitting on metal chairs. So I went and they found them and I bought them. All right. Okay. We wanna... tried two brewers yep. and we tried the Lone McKinnon chocolate malt. Yep. Where are we going next? Well, you have a whole bunch of open bottles beside you. Well, okay. And you have this in front of you. Now, you do a lot of well, bourbon. Well, I do. I do a significant amount of bourbon. That seems like a night topper or something close to that. You want to do this at the end? What would? Well, yeah, yeah. I would think toward that. That's a pretty okay. special hit. Did you see what this bottle is yet? No. Nope. Good. Okay. So I gave this to somebody else, <laughs> and they went, hmm, this is from Morrison Mackay. Okay. In Perth. But don't, yeah. They don't have a distillery. Or they do have a distillery, but they don't have a visiting center. 
And so we got to go there and I got a glass and a whole bunch of whiskey. Nice. Well, got to try a whole bunch. We were good thing we had a driver and a bus. I was not able to drive. You're gonna have a little <laughs> tiny top of this. Yeah. And then you're yeah, gonna tell me what it is. I'm driving out later tonight, so yeah, we're little tiny tops of things we're doing yeah. for sure. Good to be here. Watch all the vids. Awesome. Awesome. Glad you're here. Whose what videos do you watch? I hope it's not Malta to Montreal. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Hopefully it's my stuff. No, just kidding. What are you drinking tonight? All right. Like you're putting me on the spot all the time. What do I smell? What do I taste? Yeah. And then I'm going to be like right wrong. And oh, this no, is a. Well, you will be the. <laughs> Malta to Montreal Swami was like, what in the hell is this, man? I love it. <laughs> I sent him a sample, right? Of this? What he, I've got yeah, here? yeah. He, he's got a big tasting coming up. And oh. uh, he needed some whiskeys. And so he purchased them and I packaged them up and shipped them out to him. And I threw in a sample. Well, I don't know how to describe what I'm getting right now, but. I gotta get up at four thirty in the morning. Yeah, good, good thing I don't sleep at night, especially the summer. I'm on holidays. You gotta go to work. Yeah, I'm an education bum. Get these summer holidays. What kind of whiskey you think you get? Yeah, let I him should. couch sir. I he should. Can couch, he can anytime he wants. I probably gotta get a note from his wife. Though. That's the challenge right there. I gotta absolutely. Get, I gotta get permission from. <laughs> Love you, Lynn. If you tune in, anyways. <laughs> yeah, Lynn, He's got. A, I got a big soft couch. Only a few whiskey stains on it. So don't right. don't say what it is yet. Bob. Yeah, don't tell me. Don't tell me. But if I I, got, I don't even know what I, what I got here. It's, well, it's interesting nose in it. Yeah, it does. But it's this one a little clove. Yeah. But it but it's not a spice bomb, and it's not a. Yeah, I'm not listen. Gonna... Don't hyperventilate. You're in, you inhale anymore. You're gonna suck the Glen Karen logo right. I know, off. I know, but I'm feeling like it's my channel. What am I getting? <laughs> uh oh. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. Well, possibly. Oh yeah, I think Albert is a pretty good place. But yeah. I know this guy. You bring in a lot of stuff. You got friends and whatnot. And, and Graham, right? I first drank whiskey in New Brunswick. First time ever. I was probably five. Ah, uh, Springbank, thirteen. Nice round. You watch mainly Montreal sipping on Springbank 13. Nice. Okay. So you like punishment. Is that what the metal mafia mofo, if you're watching that guy? Yeah. By the way, I love Swami. Well, I'm, I'm going to taste but... this, try to pull something more out of it because yep. I'm not getting anywhere other those. Yep. Thank you. Hmm. Well, that is different. Wow. I love it, though. What? Woo. Any guesses? None. Zero. Is it? Is it a whiskey? The answer it has to be no because you wouldn't ask me that. Could be. Could be a two-sided. You do that. When you're educating, I mean, I'm sure there's something about is it a solution or is it a <laughs> right? I, you know, I, I, I'm not going to get you anywhere. I'm not going to be able to pull out good okay. stuff. It, do I like it? Actually, I do. It's a little hot on the end. A um, spicy hot. Yeah. Like spicy hot, right? Mm -hmm. Not not alcohol hot. No, I don't think so. More of a hog, more of a. Yeah. Well, what is it? Talk to me. It's affinity. Show the fans. So that's compass box. Yeah. Affinity. So it is a, what's it say it is? Uh, before you read everything else. Not this. No, maybe. Just that. It's a spirit drink. Not a, not a, not a, not a whiskey. It's a spirit drink. Why is it a not spirit a drink? scotch. Hmm. Hold on a sec, folks. Well, can read I talk back, about it? I tell you everything that's in there. I'm going to be, nope. Okay. Yeah, good spirit reviews, you bet. So, uh, yeah, it's got all the recipe percentages and whatnot, but it's got it does have some blended Scotch whiskey. 
It does have some single malt whiskey. The other side of it the does ball. have some Highland blend. Go over there, and it shows you the percentages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you got that? All the way up. 13, 20, 29, 38, 38. Calvados. Hey, hey, hey. You know what Calvados is? No. And neither do I. <laughs> Calvados is like, it's, it's, it's a, um, it's, it's like a, an apple. Well, yeah, it says, you know, baked apple, vanilla, clove. Yeah. So Calvados is like apple brandy. Instead of I wouldn't have thought apple brandy. I would have thought, I don't know, this the clove spice totally, but that's from the Calvados. Yeah, yeah, it's are. That's why it's helping you re see. Hey, everybody, you like the flashlight? <laughs> wow, that was fun. That was a good ride, but I, I was too nervous to say what I, what I was tasting. That was great. I read that out. Now, that's interesting. Swami, Swami was like that. Yeah, cool. Yeah, something different. That's the key thing for me. Is different, yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. So, yeah, that was fun. Good ride. Um, what about it? What about a bourbon or something? You got up. These are all good scotches here. So you've got a got a lower powered bourbon than that, Beauty? No, you don't. Oh, oh, I do. Not open. I'm sure I have a bourbon. And uh, oh. oh, wait a minute, I have a bourbon. You might not try. Keep them entertained. Hey guys, as you can see, my uh, stash has gone from about you know forty bottles to I don't know what's back here four hundred, four thousand. I I I, uh, I will say being in the uh, throttle man cave here uh, uh, is humbling. This is a beautiful collection, and and I could spend a week uh, trying to twist twist uh, throttle's arm to see if we could try that or try this or try that. I actually don't think I have to twist that hard. He's been an awesome host. Um, you did like the uh, so Swami. You did like the affinity. Actually, you know, I'd have to sit more on it to get a get a character of it. But I, I definitely would not have thought it wasn't um, something like a. I, I would have thought it was a, a lighter, like a like a space, like some some lighter scotch with some kind of spice in it. So that's interesting. Breakfast but, uh, melon aftertaste. Breakfast I melon. Can, I I can get. I don't know why you'd call it a breakfast melon. Your head looks like a melon. Oh, did I say that out loud? You did. Outside voice. Yeah. Sorry, Swan. Outside. Yeah. <laughs> it had a breakfast melon aftertaste. <laughs> I don't have any 5.1. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have 5.1. Uh, they're, they're, they're too new. I don't like them. Sorry. Uh -huh. Fair enough. All right. You got You want to try a bourbon? I would like some kind of bourbon. Okay, close your eyes. Ah. Oh, oh, man. Swan's favorite bourbon. Don't tell him. Okay, you can open it up. Yeah, okay. Light pour. Yeah, there's gotta, not a lot left anyway. Got to keep it creative. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is mine? Yeah. Wow, okay. If I wouldn't have got that we're in bourbon territory, then you'd have to send me back. So this is at least... You told me to get you a bourbon. No, thank you. I wanted that. I'm just... Like, <laughs> oh, I have opened. I so, I mean, everybody always asks me how many bottles I have in there, and I forget. I don't know. You know, right, couple, some, two, three, right, yeah, a yeah. couple hundred. <laughs> but and then I have another area, as you saw, which we call the, the whiskey wardrobe. Okay, and that's probably got about seventy bottles open. Well, maybe less. Than that. Well, I, I uh, honestly, I was just um, talking to another guy about about collecting, right? And this is awesome, and I, and I and I love the idea, but I've been really deliberately drinking down bottles and and not putting up stuff right now like not opening not that kind of stuff just i don't know you don't gas bottles do you No. like if they're open you don't yeah you know? no, uh, because i don't think it does it any good yeah. this is not gassed and it's been open for quite a while right this has probably been open close to a year okay smell good it does it smells great don't tell them what it is yet oh man any ideas you know it's a bourbon it's plain and simple you can tell. Is it a weeder? Is it? It seems smoother. It seems. Oh. Mm. The spice in it is. Yeah, it's. Uh, Just try it. Stop nosing it. You know it's a bourbon. General. Bourbon. Stop, stop analyzing your whiskey. Just <sighs> enjoy it. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Okay, you know what I mean. Yeah. Cheers. Now, you like Elijah Craig. Anywhere near that? As good, better. 
oh no this is better this is um now it's not like elijah craig the 12 that i was just sampling there mm -hmm. closer to this area but but that one still would have been a little more like like a little hotter a little cinnamon -y. this is um i need some time mm -hmm. with this i've got a bit of smoke a bit of oak ah uh, some fruit okay abv ideas um if it's hotter again than mid 40s if it's hotter than 45 46 it's got to be older because this is well done it's 45.1 okay yeah so right around the mid but this is that was lovely is i could drink that or no age thing that has to have an age okay uh, that but it's not over oaked sometimes bourbons can go nuts well, it's also had time to breathe because this is the heel. What do you think it would be worth? Oh. Well, you got that oh. part. <laughs> do you know what it is? I turned it too much. You turned it too much. Get out. You had it before. I have. Yes. Beautiful. But it is like at a 20-year-old age statement on a, on a bourbon, bucks. you'd think, oh, this is going to be. When we got this, it was on 100 bucks. You got under hundred bucks, really? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. When, where in town you pay less than hundred bucks for that? I don't say names, but yeah, as you, were. you don't. Say, I say that name all the time. I say it all the time, <laughs> but I don't. You know, it's not my town. <laughs> and they get harassed, and then people harass me. Oh, okay. Whatever. Wow, beautiful. No, that was that was delicious. But we have something here that sure. I'm very happy to share with you. Okay, it's. A sample sent to me but you better talk about it because i i can we say that it's from these you guys can say whatever you want yep. the scotch malt whiskey society now uh, anybody who does follow me on the channel i'm not part of the scotch malt whiskey society so if i've ever had some and i've had a little bit of here and there it's been when people poured it for me right because i'm not i don't yep. get the bottles i don't i can't get the bottles yes that was barter house graham yeah mm. So and I, I'll, uh, the guys, another was another Daniel actually that poured that for me. Just a shout out to the guy if he's watching. Um, so it's only the second time I've had it. It's a beautiful bourbon. Thank you. Um, oh, it is okay. Yeah, yeah it was under hundred bucks. Really? Well, ninety bucks. That's I would. I gladly pay that today for that. That's beautiful. Capita. We're gonna use these because we're going to a fine ass. Mm. All right, so we're going so, to we'll, shift gears a bit, but okay, we want to talk about the SMWS. Well, I don't know enough about the SMWS, okay. right? Because I am not a part of the I'm society. I'm an SMWS guy. All right, so this is an old box. You don't get this sample anymore. It went a little different, but this is if you become a member, you get a box like this. Okay, I've had this for a while. In this box, the new ones come with are, are slightly smaller, so you get this. It nice. says open me. Yeah. This is actually my membership card. Has cool. my number on it, little green card. You can cool. see. Cool. Yeah. Check it out if you want. And I actually was the only one on my trip to Scotland <laughs> that remembered to bring it. So everybody had to come in as my guest. Oh really? Yeah. It's just a stupid plastic card, guys. Yeah, okay. But it has a number on it. And if you don't if you're not a member, there's a couple places called the Vault, which are actually phenomenal. I really even member or no member, I enjoyed going to them. You get a little copper pin. And yeah. you get a sample. You get a notebook, which I've never written in. Okay. Yeah, if you're taking and, notes. And you pull that one off. Okay. And you get some samples. Oh, cool. So when you when you sign on or join the society, they ship this to you. Yep. Yep. Cool. This is the people that import this are from Canada. Initially the Canadian um, North American was some guys in the US. Right. And they were doing nothing in Canada. Kelly and Rob own noseworthy imports okay. and they, but they were over in Edinburgh okay. and try like, man, we want this here. So, hey, can we be the importers? Okay. The SMWS had to do some wrangling with the U S people, which okay. are no longer involved. It's different people that own it. They do much better now. Okay. With these new people yep. to get them to relinquish Canada because they had the rights for all of North America. Oh, okay. So they were pretty much told, listen, you'll lose it all or you split it up. Yeah. Right. And Kelly and, and Rob have done excellent. Now, an interesting fact about Kelly and Rob is they just opened up a distillery in Edinburgh. Brand oh, new, beautiful really? distillery in Edinburgh oh. called Holy Rood. Okay. 
Holy Rood Distillery, right in Edinburgh. Beautiful. Edinburgh's great. I, yeah. The only sad part about Edinburgh is I didn't have enough time there. Yeah. So what you see here is a number, 1.52. Yeah. It is the first distillery okay. they ever got a bottle barrel from. Okay. And it, this this sample here is 152nd barrel they bought from that distillery. Well, they might not have bought it directly from the distillery. They might have bought it from a broker okay. that had it. Yeah. They don't always get it from the distillery. But distilleries, even with their independent bottlers, do not always like their name used. Yeah, for right? sure. Some guys probably just use it. I yeah. have lots of independent bottlers around here, and yeah. they'll say they still, still act, but they won't no. say it is that. Right. Yeah. So they don't even bother. You can go SMWS codes on the on the google and somebody will have them listed yeah right and i can tell you that number one is glenn farkless okay but george s grant told me i have never sold a buyer a barrel to the smws so they're getting it some other way it means they got yeah, somewhere else. for sure so uh graham was saying did you go through kensington wine market in calgary i did not but everything I asked. Oh, you don't have to. Sorry. No, I get it from Kagan Cork in Edmonton, Alberta. Yeah, I thought we had uh, yeah. SMW. Like, yeah. Okay, so that's cool. what they are. The, the first numbers yeah. are the distillery, and the next number is the casks. Yeah, and then they're all cast strength. Okay, none of them are diluted, and they're all single cask. Single right. cast strength, like the single, single barrel that they picked up. Nothing's diluted, and they have the weirdest names and the weirdest notes. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. Yeah. Lemon and vanilla, delicacy, and yeah. jelly, jelly and if, belly beans, and whatnot. And if yeah. you read the actual tasting <laughs> notes underneath it, yeah, you you think that they're crazy. You're, so you're just yeah, your your <laughs> your language arts teacher is smoking a joint, and drinking whiskey. Right. Okay. You know what I mean? That'll work. <laughs> they're they're mm, that's different. Yeah. So they're very. It's fun. They're fun. That's oh, hey, like Swami's that. saying that they're in trouble for bottling whiskeys younger than three years and still calling it whiskey. I didn't know that. Do you know about that controversy at all? No. Where are they in trouble for this, Swami? Probably actually in Scotland. I think there's, well, that's that, that could be so, or right. that could be. You know, because we see a lot of bottles nowadays, anyways, I do, where it's, you know, spirit or like this one too. You said, right, spirit drink. Uh, I was at a farmer's market, a lot of young craft distillers, and they're wow. selling all their rye spirit and and yes. you know <laughs> you mean like this one they're really pushing it because i'll even say like aged rye spirit and i'm like why well, oh <laughs> I, I don't know yeah you can yeah. show it to me. this sure. is from strathcona spirits right here in edmonton yeah. it's called grain wet ski <laughs> That isn't green whiskey on there. You need 3D glasses to see it. Oh yeah, and it come. Does it come to life? And, yeah, and uh, it's, it's what it is. How many double barrel single cast spirits? Yeah, uh, bottle seven seventy five. And it, you and know, it's, it's still kind of neat when you go to a farmers is. market and the guys are pouring samples, oh, and it's and, and this is only six months old. Right, but that's that's a, a bit of the challenge, and uh, and some some of the distilleries that are the craft guys that I get into conversations with. They really know what they're doing. They're having some fun with it, and they know where they're going. And then you get into some conversations where it's like, "How are you? How do you run a distillery?" Like, like they're talking stuff that doesn't make any sense. I don't. I don't want to say they're too learning much, it. But, but you go to some of these small distillers <laughs> that we have around here, the craft or whatever they want to call yeah. themselves, and you walk in, turn around, and you've done the whole tour. You've done some. I, I totally have done that. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, <laughs> oh. Yeah. One of my favorite local beers is is uh, Alley Cat. Yeah. And they're just up the road, and they're small oh yeah yeah i, I haven't small. been to ellicott but i like their uh did you ever have their spruce tip beer no they uh they went walking down in our river valley and they picked off those spruce tips oh. and they used that uh kind of as part where you would where you would hop right where you're gonna get that that really sharp vegetative type bite and they they put the tips in and it wasn't bad it actually like you don't expect, you expect to be really like piney and you know like it resiny kind of stuff, but it actually was half decent beer. Yeah. 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 Well, there's lots of good ones out there. I, I, but I find with the craft beer guys, it, it's the same as the people that are selling you peated whiskey just to sell you peated whiskey. Yeah. Okay. I don't want Pete for Pete's sake. Right. <laughs> for Pete's sake. Nice one. Yeah. So, so this is SMWS. So this is the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society, but this is not a Scotch. This is not a Scotch. So, First of all, it is from. Distillery 133. Okay. 
and it is the first cask. This can was I, a sample. I? Yeah, yeah. Well, well, where am I going here? There we go. Right in front of the camera. Yeah. One thirty-three point one. So it's the first time they've ever had anything from it. Yeah. They call it Speakeasy Sneaky Pete. I think I got that right. You did. It is fifty-seven point. Of just 57% 57. ABV, yep. and it is five years old. That's right. And it was aged in a virgin oak barrel. Right. right. Well, which makes sense if they went south and it's... Uh... So they may call this a bourbon. Could be a bourbon. Right. And I can tell you what the distillery is if you want to know. Sure. Most people don't. When we do these at Kagan Cork, they do them as a blind tasting. Well, then let's go blind first. You get a book. Uh, it's kind of make fun of me, Dave. <laughs> We're not making fun of anybody. We're sharing. And, and, and people do it to me, and I fail miserably. Yeah. They give you this. It's called an outturn. Every month, the first week of the month, they have an outturn. This one happens to be Dave's, who is the manager of Cake and Cork. And they've changed things slightly now. They have color codes. So you get a bottle. If it has that color in it, like light blue, it is young and sprightly. And if you go down to the dark green, it is heavily peated. Okay. So the, remember I asked you to give me a different bottle? Yeah. So this yeah, is the I old do. bottling. Yeah. Numbers, everything was the same color. The new bottles are coming with a different label that has a stripe that in stripe it. On the it. number is smaller. And triple distilled Bloody Mary right. is the name of this bottling. Right. I have to go back to my notes to remember. 17 years, and it has that light blue stripe on the label, and or light purple, and the light purple up here, meaning it is young and sprightly. But it's 17 years old. I'm not sure why they call it young and sprightly. Soya sauce. Yeah, that sounds delightful. I can't see why you'd hate that uh, Goose Island aged stout, Swami. <laughs> Scott's from STDs gave it to me. Worst beer I've ever had was a goose. Well, that was the goose. Oh, that was a comment I was talking about. Yeah, man. it's like soy sauce. Yeah, beer. I've had some beers that just. I, I'm not into them sour beers. I'm not into. But there's one here after, from Alley Cat called Fish Bone Try. Okay. It's it's IPA, but it's not. It's balanced. Okay. It's balanced. It's not. It's all not IPA just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or left yeah. over. Like oh, my hand <laughs> in my mouth. There was another one they gave me because they have a, a rotating tap at the pub I go to. Right, and it gave it to me. It was like it was like putting in solvent in my mouth. It wasn't solvent, but it cleansed my palate. It hardly had anything to it in the beginning, and yeah. barely any finish. But my, you know, if I rub my tongue to the roof of my mouth, it was kind of squeaky. I don't oh, know what that really? was. That is, what is this? Ah, it's made by Phillips, which is on Vancouver Island, I believe. We're in Vancouver, Phillips Brewery. Okay, well that'll that'll tell you, Swami. That's yeah, thirty bucks. But if it's no good, it's no good. But some aged beers that I've had, I mean, that one, Goose Island, yeah, I don't, I don't know, what, what was it an IPA? Oh, Stout, you said. So we've been trying different glasses here. Yeah. If anyone notices, what do you think? Of the different glasses? Yeah. This is what they call a competition glass. A lot of the wine people use it during their testing. And yeah. Summer. Well, I've been thinking of, because I've been drinking out of Glencairns forever, and I've been thinking of getting something with a stem, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this or, or or this type. This is actually not an SNWS one, but I got this. Uh, Old Perth is another independent bottler, but it has a little stem and it's a little bit tighter at the top than this. I saw at uh, uh, yeah a local place some Old Perth. I nearly picked up like a twenty-one year old, and it was only like I don't know, hundred and ten, hundred twenty. It wasn't it wasn't ridiculous. And maybe yeah, maybe it was that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> But it was something like that, and I thought, that's a wicked price for a 22, 21. I thought it was 21. Well, oh, you want to buy that. If I you do. Saw it, I did see it, it's but I don't, I don't know if it's still it's there. Because it's gone. If it's yeah, still there, it's get it. Look at the color, color of that. Yeah. Look at the color of that. Yeah, it was the 21 that I saw. Yeah. yeah. So this was meant for a military company. That, I heard that and, story. And they, yeah. Well, we won't get into it because it's oh, a no. long story, but they, it, it, it it's phenomenal. And this is the second release. And you've been like, obviously, but you've been into it. You like when you say it's phenomenal, it is. Well, this is that that old Perth class I have yep, there. Yeah, that's those guys. Weird Rams. Mm. I met I met uh, the owner. He's awesome. He's got tartan sneakers, Converse sneakers. <laughs> He's awesome. So, what do you think of this so far? Well, you know, it's at fifty-seven, right? So it's obviously got a ton more alcohol coming up. But I, I, I mean, we shouldn't have done the the orphan barrel because that nose pulled me in. This one, yeah. I'm a little bit struggling well, with. This one's yeah. 
ten percent less ABV. Ten percent less ABV. 12. Twenty years, five years. Exactly. Right. <laughs> no, it didn't. Nose and taste. And I don't think you've ever tried this. I, I was reviewing your channel today, and I didn't see you do any. It's called Westland. No. No, I haven't. If you get up there, right in the back corner, you'll see a purple box right on the first You shelf. want me to dig in there? Yeah, right back, very back one. All right. I like hopped beers usually, but never enjoy any of the hopped back. beers. Right there. Yes. Yep. Okay. So the difference is... Oh is that we can get lots of different... Right, can I bring yeah. up here? Yeah. I don't hide in. I've seen much. <laughs> this is Westland. Yeah. This is not what we're drinking. No. They bought the whole cask, right, the SMWS. And a lot of things. You had SMWS earlier today? Yeah. Okay. And that SMWS... Yeah, I've been had, trying a little bit earlier today. Too. <laughs> it was... Well, it was... A, Quite a while ago, actually. It was, yeah. But that SMWS is. Well, oh, Graham, you're asking a question. Sorry, you finish yeah, your thought. That I want to. I was just going to say yes. The question of uh, like the hopped whiskeys is that what it was about? But I've never enjoyed any of the hopped whiskeys I've ever tried. I uh, I definitely enjoy um, some hop character in my beer. I I, I do. Um, I've had a fair amount of hop whiskey lately in the last year and. There are times that I'm like, hey, this is kind of interesting, but it never sticks. There is never a time when I've gotten to the end of a hot whiskey bottle and I thought, man, that was awesome. I'd love to buy it again. So I don't know how, how you feel about hot whiskey. You mean IPAs hopped? Like that well, it thing? could be like Glen Fittick IPA. Uh, Wiser's did an actual hopped. Uh, I've done a BC hopped. I, I, think, a bunch I, of guys I think it's, it, I think it's uh, <laughs> you know, just trying things for the sake of trying, it's fine. Um, it's like we, I said earlier about scotch. If they're just peating it just because yeah. there's peat heads out there. Yeah. I mean, if they're not doing it with effort and balance and so on, it's no good. So anybody can hop a beer up and right. send it out there. So if it's not a good effort, if they're not doing it with experience and yeah. knowledge, then. And I, of the hop that I've had, and I've, I've had a few, um, it wasn't, it wasn't stellar, but I actually didn't mind when it was more um, that they took their scotch and put it in an X IPA barrel or like mm -hmm. something like that, where they're getting it. Like it's a, it's a little like the finish is a bit better than than some people that are putting it in the in the in the kettle. They're, like they're they're hopping it, and yeah. that's a little bit too too that's hot. True. Yeah. So this is Westland's. The one you tried earlier, the first SMWS yeah. you tried, was a Ben Riot. Okay. okay. Nice. And. Ben Riek puts out great stuff. Did you try this, right? Yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Puts out great stuff. <laughs> but there are other ones that the SMWS will put out, or another independent bottler, that you would never, you don't like their regular. Like like Swami doesn't like Glen Morangy, calls it Glen Morangy. <laughs> but I have SMWS ones I could give him, and he would be like, holy crap. Right? You want a little. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Now, this is what I do at the tastings. Oftentimes, is we will do the blind tasting. I always save a little bit in our glasses, and usually at a tasting there is like uh, six, seven samples. Okay. And we. Got, I'm, I'm halting here. We do, do it need blind. To save some. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Okay. You tried it already. Hard, I've tried straight. it. Yeah. yeah. Drop some water in there. I usually put anywhere from three to five drops in, and I usually have a bigger dropper than that. That's a pretty tiny little. Yeah. So I don't know where I got that one, but it works great. Little tiny pipette, as they would call yeah. it. Yeah. Right? And so I usually do that. And so when we're doing the tasting, I will add water. And then when we do it a second time and we reveal what it is, I, I get a second. I get it. It's like having a second yeah. tasting that's not at all alike. You'll go back after having the fifth or seventh one and go back to the first one yeah. that you didn't like that much and go, Holy crap, man. That's phenomenal, right? So when people get in there and they think they know this whiskey so well, I've had it before and I can da -da 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 and all that crap. Yeah. You whiskey changes. And that's the other thing I like about it. Not because we all know that the 12 year old Glenn Fittick or Glenn Livet that you've been buying for years your father had, if you could travel back in time and yeah. open up one. Oh. 
that it isn't the same. Ralphie was given an old bottle, a 25-year-old, or a, a Johnny Walker red label. That was 25 or 30 years old. Right. Never opened. Right. It was in the back of someone's grandfather's closet right. after he deceased. They were cleaning up, and he opened them together. A okay. new one. And, and, yeah. And, and one that was. And he gave them similar marks, and he said there's very similar things, but they're not the same whiskey. Yeah. And he didn't say this, but what I took from him is that all whiskey is rare. So uh, the water changes. Interesting. The barley changes. Interesting. The wood changes. That's an interesting takeaway. No, oh, I, I actually is. like that. That's a, that's a, a better thought. That so, yeah. so when I get an SMWS, no matter what people say about the membership fees or this and that, the SMWS bottles and any of the other independent bottlers, because just the SMWS has got a little bit of a gig going on, right? Yeah. And you know, swirling is one thing, but they say to actually gyrate it differently when you added water. I don't know why. Really? Yeah, one of them science, science people, science people. Yeah, who knows? Those guys, science, <laughs> science. <laughs> anyway, they, they, when I buy a bottle from the SMWS, I know that it's rare. It is never going to be tried. No one's going to try to duplicate it, right? Because it's a single cask, yeah, single barrel or uh, sing, uh, cast strength. Cast, and yeah, it's, you know, right. That's it. It's mm -hmm. coming that's the it. way it comes out, and when, and when they pour yeah. those out. You're never gonna get that again. So we, we we probably can't buy this anymore. This was a very healthy sample I was given by the SMWS themselves. Right. Right. Uh, because we were not able to it would not be available here. I think it only went to the state side. And a lot of the bottles I have, you can't buy them ever again. Right. So what's that like? No, you diluted it to how much you think. Still I still get the alcohol burn on my nose. And I put a full pipette in there. Yeah. The nose actually didn't even change that much for me with the water that I put in it. I was looking for any secondary, like any fruits or anything like that. It really stayed pretty close to. I think there's too much power of suggestion right now because I'm tasting this mm -hmm. and I'm getting a little bit of chocolate, which makes zero sense because there's nothing in a virgin oak cask that would that would give me that. Not in the nose, but in the in the um in the palate. Totally. Which is bizarre because I'm not a big like I usually only get that if I'm talking heavy sherry or some reason like that, and that's nothing. That's not what's going on here. It could be so what the power of suggestion. That's what I'm you thinking said it to me now. <laughs> but I don't really get chocolate very often in mine. Well, uh, maybe I that's not quite it, but I'm getting something. I'm getting more of a maybe like a chocolate cake that was in the oven too long. Hmm. Or okay. a dark chocolate that's been burnt a bit. Yeah, but maybe it's more that dark cooked so it's edge. Like more like the wood itself. You know what? That's that's better. That's a better palette than where I was. I, you're you're sharper. No, I'm not sharper. I'm different. No, 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 no. Yeah, okay. Yeah, but I, I but I'm but I'm saying I'm saying uh, when you walk into that description, nobody tells Sipper Social Club that I was doing tasting notes on Whiskey Neighbor. Don't tell that guy <laughs> nothing. And certainly don't tell that freaking Hollywood wannabe star I read and write fantasy novels, Whiskey in the Six. Don't tell them anything, guys. Don't no. tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. I don't care. Tell them. They're like, when are you going to do it? I, here's the other thing. And I'm not taking anything against from you. Right. I am not an influencer. I'm an opinionator. Okay? <laughs> I spew out verbiage. That I've either read or heard from somebody else, yep. and so on. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm an opinionator. Swami is an opinionator. Yeah, he's not influencing. He doesn't want to influence people. I no. mean, he does. He influences. You know, Swami can be used as a as a bad mm. example. Mm. I do like it though. <laughs> Don't you like that? I do. <laughs> it's cast strength, single barrel, oh. only five years old. Only five years old. Yeah. Wow. Uh, so a couple of comments well, that happened to be like, oh, you're gonna go. Somewhere. I'm gonna do one thing here. Yeah, you're a Pete man. I am. This is called the bee's knees. <laughs> the bee's knees. It's a little less than half, and I want you to take that home. What? Yeah, do a real review on your channel of it. Yeah. Wow, you were already an awesome gentleman. <laughs> Thank take you. Your home, that buddy. Is... Thanks for coming by. Oh. What? Try that. Hey, it's your introduction to SMWS. This <laughs> is too, but I mean that. Take that home. The bee's knees, forty-two point wow. two four. I'm wow. gonna let you do the homework. I'm not even gonna say what that is, but we can read the little note, the words here. Here's the bee's knees is what this called forty-two point two four. 
You do, <laughs> Daniel. You do. You do, you, friend. It makes great reviews. On, oh, I do. Thank you, <laughs> yeah. Graham. I don't know if I do tasting notes. I just don't buy it again. I, I, I skip right to the uh, this bottle that's in the garbage now. I would never buy it again. I don't do that. What? Well, hey. What? Well, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. C salt. I totally ripped that off of Roy. I, I, everybody I feel, rips I, off everybody <laughs> on this channel. There's nothing new under the sun. <laughs> sea salted caramels, chereros with salty peanut sugar and bitter chocolate on the nose meat, <laughs> followed by an amazingly sweet, salty, and smoky sensation on the palate. Woo! Even diluted, it was still tantalizing every nook and cranny of our tongue. Isn't that, that better tasting note or? Uh, yeah. Notes, period. It's tasting and nosing notes together. And it's just just have fun with it. Do yeah. a little research on Pip Hills. Yeah. He's the first guy that started it. And he helped somebody move and they gave him a barrel. Okay. No, I'll and dig he, into it. And he, and, and he took it to his buddies and they cracked open the barrel and started drinking right from it. Wow. That's how it all started. That's amazing. Wow. It's awesome. a great story. It's great. And a take from Davin de Kurgamo's book. Yeah. You ever read it? I have yes in the beginning twice. I read the first one and the and second the revised one. Yeah, he's got what is the number one ingredient in whiskey? And he says, "Is it the barrel, the water, the grain?" Do you know what his answer was? The heart story, the soul, the story. Okay, right. <laughs> I was trying to get somewhere. Absolutely, it's the story. Yeah. For so sure. we're here having fun because we we've chatted for quite a while. Yeah, and 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 it's fun. Right? Yeah. That's why the whiskey is really the story and it might bring absolutely. stories together. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, absolutely. Whiskey. A great story never started with a salad. <laughs> not, not a great story, but a few stories might have started with a salad. <laughs> Are we missing here? We did missed a few over there. The comment on Glen Cadam, 15 and Glen <laughs> there, there. I'm an opinionator and Swami is an adjective. And it, yeah. He's my friend and makes great reviews and watching. Thank you, Graham. I appreciate that. Yeah. That's good stuff. Swami said he didn't appreciate the Portwood uh, Ben Riek. I haven't had That's that. Right. Hey, I, can't. I might. Swami, tell me what you know about Dawn or Dusk. Bull Moore's Dawn or Dusk. I have um, I have uh, some options right now about buying someone's collection. Oh. And they have a Bull Moore. Dawn or Dusk. Uh, it's Portwood finished. Anyway. If I can remember what it was. Oh. It is a well. It I, is a dawn throttle. This is yeah. Okay. While you're digging that out or whatnot, I was just gonna say this is this is an incredible gift. I really appreciate that. It's great, great summer homework for me as a teacher to dig into this, figure out a little bit more about it. Smell it if you want. But you can yeah, have a little. Yeah. So it's your bottle now. I don't care what you do. <laughs> don't blame me. Oh, I know one person. That might be upset when they find out I gave it that too, but he's had it. I don't care. Is is Josh know your whiskey on Instagram? Okay. Because, well, I because it's the it's it's the distillery he's after right now. Oh, is it really? But he is an SMWS member. Okay. How can we volunteer to get on that tasting panel? Um, it's actually not that easy. One of the guys that, like Dave from Cake and Cork, he has. Put himself out there. I don't know what their credentials are to get on there. I've never thought of them because I'm when I'm under that kind of pressure. I'm like, oh my god, I don't know what it tastes like whiskey. You know, if I'm alone. No, I get it, and then I get nervous. Even just now, though, like when you said, like we're, I, I to try to come up with tasting notes on the spot. That's why no one ever asks us to be like a Canadian whiskey judge. There's eight guys no. that do all that no. stuff. How come we're no one asks us? I don't know. Oh, uh, that's why because. <laughs> Yeah, well, they, they I can't want, come up with a pair of a bunch of donkeys yeah. just coming in for free whiskey and saying, "Tastes like the best whiskey I ever had." That is amazing. Give yeah. them that trophy. <laughs> I'll make my own trophy. <laughs> I used to make. I used to take martial arts and go to tournaments, and I was warming up for something at a tournament. I stepped backwards and I stepped on this other guy who's a owns his own school down at Red Deer, and I broke his trophy. Oh, no. I was like, "Oh my god!" Oh, oh. Master, I was going to be so mad. I'm like, I took it over to the table where all the other trophies were. I said, ah, yeah, I broke. Was, ah, whatever. Undo this screw. Undo the pump. Put a new little plastic <laughs> band on there. He's got a new trophy. It was one he already won. Sure. So that's why everyone was worried. And they just changed the figure on it and gave it to him. Yeah. 
just a bunch of plastic put together. Yeah, too many little pieces. It's not like yeah, yeah. back in the Roman days when they gave you a <laughs> giant chunk of gold <laughs> with a man's penis attached to it. Whoa, that went somewhere. <laughs> well, it's totally different now. It's not the same. No, that's not. I didn't say anything. Uh, wrong. Yeah. No, so Swami couldn't help you out. It hasn't had the ones you're looking at. No, no. Yeah. So, what do we got here? I would totally. You know, I've been asked once two years ago and it turned down. I'm not an expert. Yeah. No, you're not. Nobody is. Even the experts. Who makes them an expert? Yeah. Right. Well, that's one thing. Like I, like I get online, and and I'm a voice. Like who am I? Right. But then you know, in the in the in your immediate friends that aren't whiskey buffs. You become a default expert because you do know a couple of things, right? Sure, sure. sure but sure. one of the first things that I do when I'm pouring whiskey and talking whiskey to people that really aren't is like what you taste is exactly what's in there. Like what like you've got to own what you're getting out of that bottle. Like I might come to you and say, Oh, this is the bees, you know. You know, I mean the point is I might say this this is the shit, like this is awesome. Yeah. And they taste it and they just hate it. Then they need to know I don't like that. They don't need to think, oh, I have to figure out how to like that because John said that was decent. Yep. It's one of the first things that I do if I'm ever if I'm ever talking with whiskey guys that aren't whiskey guys. You just gotta own, gotta you own your taste. Yours. See, I, I've finished like <laughs> everything you poured. I can sniff this all day long. <laughs> the more the, the water really opened it up for me. It did, eh? That's in your competition glass. You still got some on the nose there. Yeah. So this, this one. Yeah. Yeah. I can just nose it all day long. So that's how that happened with me. You see over there the High West collection? Yep. Mm -hmm. a guy named Dave Gordon, who was a keeper of the Quake at the, my first whiskey festival here in Evan. Yeah. He had, he was taking care of a booth and he said, Can you try this? I'm like, oh, I'll try that for him. Okay. It was double rye, High West double oh, yeah. rye, which means yeah. double rye means it has a, I think then it has a six year old and a, and a young one in it. Yep. Whatever it was, I can't remember now. That's the other thing. I'm not a person who remembers all this stuff. Some people remember things beautiful. I remember I tried a whiskey, but that's about it. Yeah. Oh, I tend to remember. Do I like it or not? Too. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I remember that. Yeah. Um, I went. I said, I'm here for the scotch. He's like, just try it. I, I got. I had a, a whiskey lanyard type of deal. Yeah. And I, I never let it go. I just carried it with me everywhere. And I mean, people were giving me plenty of this and that, but I mean, the nose on that High West was phenomenal. You just do a little research it. on, yeah. you know, Compass Box? Yep. What do you know about Compass Box? Uh, John Glazer, I know, uh, as is on this bottle, but if it's not on the bottle, you go to their site. They're website, very transparent. You've tried about, Spice Tree? Yep. Uh, transparent about, you know, uh, what they've got, what percentages, what's exactly. going on in there. They're transparent. Yeah. And that's I think a, for uh, me, that's what I, when I think Compass Box, I think people who are trying to share everything they can about the whiskey they're putting right. out there. That's what it is. Yeah, it's phenomenal. But John Glazer and the man that started High West are our buddies. Oh yeah. And so the High West guy is actually, I think, like a chemist or a chemical engineer or something. Okay. Right, and he's got a phenomenal nose. But running a business, he ended up selling it to someone bigger. He's still a figurehead there, and so forth. But he is—it's beautiful the stuff he mixes together. Have you ever tried their campfire? Nope. So campfire is is Scotch bourbon and rye blended together. Okay. Right? It's wicked. It is? Yeah. It's really good. So what's left here? Do like, you, I've just been rolling around this. Go back to your glass in the morning? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I do. You bet. Yeah. Anybody that, you know, yeah. And so that's... The wife makes you wash it. You're like, <laughs> what great. are you doing? You're not washing the dishes. I'm like... <laughs> or more like, what are all these glasses doing? Did you have all... What? <laughs> I don't have a wife, so I don't know what the problem. Julia is the princess. <laughs> She's awesome. She washed my dishes for me and cleaned the bathroom before John uh, got here while I was mowing lawns. Uh, wow. What a night. That was awesome. I think uh, it's been fun to talk to Graham and Swami. Yep. I think that's the two that really joined us. A few people are, are watching yep. and checking it out. And, and some people, I, I tend to struggle finding lives, and so I often catch them later. So maybe a couple people will. We'll uh, come on after, but yeah, uh, hey, guys, it's been uh, it's been good. Swami and Graham, thank you for joining us, and uh, really, I can't thank you enough, Throttle. For is there anything we're missing? <laughs> no, we're hard bag alligator. Ah. Ah. Oh, hard bag alligator! I won this at a tasting. <laughs>
single cast nation or double cast nation crossed out, which is a the Jewish whiskey company they call themselves. It is a nine year old Glen Farkless. Nine years old. Look at the color on it. At 59.5% yeah. alcohol. Whew. First fill Oloroso. And then the second cask was a second <laughs> fill Oloroso. Anyway. All right. But I think we were signing on. off to Swami saying bye and, and Graham. Uh, so nice you guys could be here. Cheers. I've finished everything you put. <laughs> awesome. Guys, I'm glad you came in because he did hijack me. I had a freaking bag over my head. Watch the beginning of the video. <laughs> Uh, cheers, Cheryl, uh, cheers. You thank little, you. You got a little bit in a glass. I got this one. Yeah, yeah first right. pour. Just, cheers, cheers. Thanks. thanks for coming by, buddy. Thank you. Have a good thank night, you, guys. everybody. Go straight home. Get some sleep. <laughs> you don't actually have to drink.